Hey guys, thanks for joining me back here at Bunker Hill. It looks like there are a few more people around for us to talk to and maybe even some places to visit. Kessler said something about trading and she asked if we were a caravan. So I'm thinking maybe we can find some shops in this little place and there's Edward. I do wanna see what his whole thing was about on our way down to the gallery. Hello. Oh. <clears throat> What's up? Um, not the much. What a day, huh? <laughs> yeah. What a day. It seems like this guy put all his points into charisma. Well, this is that little girl I wanted to talk to. Hi, Meg. Oh, no. She's going to bed. <laughs> Look at this dude. Hi. Sure love trading here. For trade stuff. Oh, yeah. For trade stuff. That's kind of sketchy, actually. Are you a sketchy guy? I should have profiled him based on his sunglasses at night. Hey, girl. Hi, I'm Meg. You new to the hill? For 10 caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Oh, sweet. Yeah, what kind of tour is it? What's in the tour? All sorts of things. <laughs> Get a jump on the other traders. Come on, it's just 10 caps. <laughs> the guy in the background. Okay. Um. Oh, gee, well, there's a bully option to try and get it for free, but I don't want to do that. I want to pay her. She's a cute little kid. Okay. Sure. I'll take the tour. Caps up front. Thank you. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. Wait, what? Wait, what? Meg, no. I, I didn't get all that. Hey. Hey, I know that suit. You're one of those people who lives underground. <laughs> uh. Oh, dear. Um. Oh, oh no, I didn't get all that at all. Well, there's a workshop here, so this is gonna be a settlement. I mean, of course it is. Of course it's gonna be a settlement. All right, well, this is nice. I, I like this settlement. You know, it seems like a, a good place to be. This is Kessler's terminal. Dare I, dare I do the thing? Should I? I shouldn't. That Brahmin detects me, doesn't he? Hey, buddy. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, it's not locked, is it? Sensor out there. Okay, so there's update wire. What is this? Monthly with wire. No issues. Not even a hint of trouble with his boys. Thankfully, getting pressure to lower payment. Hello. Remember last time? Maybe some sort of cap equivalent will work? Hmm. Update. Tower Tom. Tower Tom's been pushing east. In no time, we'll be directly on our trade route. Keeps chasing away, and in one case killing, messengers. Clear we can't deal with them. Could be a real problem. I wonder if we could deal with this. Tower Tom. And he's pushing east, so he's over in the west. Is he gonna be from... Diamond City? I mean, there's probably towers there. That's like the heart of Boston, isn't it? We'll see. Update. Zeller. That two-bit thief Zeller takes in one hand and hits our caravanners with the other. Got to play dumb. At this point, worth hiring some help. Someone reliable. Someone that can take out his army. Oh, that sounds fun. I want to take out an army. And then Jared. Update Jared. What is that? Jared's drop, mainly Jet and Psycho, took a pass on Kim for kids, but AJ's still got the best prices on the normal garbage. As long as he accepts Kim's, it won't be a problem paying him off. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm glad nobody minded that I decided to read that. I'm assuming this all is not going to be theft once I have access to this place as a as a settlement <laughs> if I want to oh no I don't have a problem you just look you just look so slick <laughs> get it because of the because uh, of the rain that was funny right <laughs> so Meg said the uh, the, the bars in the corner really the only thing I got the location of was that the outhouse is over the wall and I, I don't feel like that is helpful to me I'm half tempted to join the railroad and all this shit I don't know people gotta do something dad when did you start to care about the sense it's not that 
The railroad is the only one standing up to the Institute. So Gary's wife, kidnapped. That settlement Lucas Miller was talking about, wiped out. Huh. So the Institute wiped out a settlement? Hello. Old man Stockton. Hey there. Can I just wake you up, old man? You don't look that old. I mean, you're like dad level old. You're not grandpa level old. I'm Stockton. You've heard of old man Stockton, yes? No? Is that... <laughs> Is that all? I mean, I've heard of you now. <laughs> oh, I... I love him. He might be my favorite character. Old man Stockton. The best character. Fan favorite. <laughs> You've heard of old man Stockton, haven't you? What a guy. Okay, so these guys are talking about stuff Some sense into my numb skull son oh hi Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble really what's the railroad well i mean i think it's kind of obvious that it's going to be an emancipation thing and from what they just said about the institute it's going to be about synths right what's the railroad the freedom fighters willing to risk their lives for synths and that means they fight the institute only ones that do what you think that's noble or some bullshit that just makes them idiots. No son of mine is going to throw his life away with those lunatics. I really have to agree with Joe on this one, but I'm going to ask what the scents are. And what are scents? Synthetic people made by the Institute look so human you can't tell them from us. They're monsters is what they really are. And how do you know that? Have you ever met one? If you can't tell who's a synth or not, they can't be all that bad. I've got to disagree with you, man. There's probably ways to tell, and if there's definitely no way to tell, then it's still deceptive of them not to tell you that they're not people. And I would say that kind of deception is evil on its own, in and of its nature. So don't join the railroad. You should look after yourself. See, now that's some advice. We got a business. You know how lucky we are, and you want to throw it away. All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rock gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sense? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. <laughs> I like Joe. So what did the Institute do? I know from what I learned in Good Neighbor that they're replacing people with robots and that's high key not okay. What did the Institute do to you? Ah, oh, Gary. He is, well, was, one of Cricket's hired guns. He hits the road and comes back to find his wife missing. Yeah, so the Institute kidnaps people. I'm not saying I like it, but the world's a dangerous place. It's not your job to save it. And dealing with the railroad, the Institute. Might as well put a bullet in your own damned skull. It'll just save you time. Okay, so I can either avoid all of this by saying I want service, or we can go, saving synths is noble, or synths are the enemy. I mean, can we not have a more neutral stance, like robots aren't people, don't throw your life away for them? Maybe? Because I'm not out here trying to say they are the enemy, but it's not noble to save a toaster, so... Synths are weapons built by the Institute. You don't know that. You see, boy? Now stop this nonsense. We got customers. You don't know that! Well, maybe I don't know that. But I do know they're not people. So, can I trade with these guys? Need a place to stay? Grab it before someone else does. Oh, really? Are you a motel, then? This... some kind of motel? I prefer the term flop house. But don't tell my pa that. Gets him mad. When caravans pull into town, they need a place to sleep. So we ran out all the beds we can. So did you want one? Uh, how many caravans come through here? How many caravans come through here? All word for them. word. They kind of own the whole town, but money still has to change hands so they know which caravan owes what. Bunker Hill is one big money makes the world go round kind of place. Raider problem? Pay him off. Supply problem? Buy more. Charge more. Hey, 
Weren't we talking about you renting a room? You need one? I mean, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll rent one, but what about bribes? What is this? So Bunker Hill just buys its way out of problems? It's all they know. Caravan folk or money folk. And all the people who settled here retired from the caravans. Now that doesn't mean a Bunker Hill boy doesn't know how to sling a gun. But why waste the bullets if you can buy your way out of trouble for less? Hey, did you want that room or not? <laughs> He's really pushing to sell it, okay. Here's your caps. Stockton snores. You've been warned. That's really funny. All right, I guess I'll talk to his dad, Joe, and see if he will sell things to us. Hey, but sorry to wake you up. Hi. But I do want to see what you guys might have in stock. I'm expecting it mostly to be food stuff. Got every liquor from the Commonwealth here. Yeah. The benefit of being the caravan trader's favorite bar. <laughs> okay. So is this your place? You, uh... You own this place? Technically, everything is owned by all the caravan companies that come through here. We pool the money together and split it up. But as far as serving drinks goes, this bar is all mine. Which caravans? Which caravans come through here? Pretty much all of them. All the ones I know about anyway. Takes a certain kind of person to brave the Commonwealth trade routes. Don't know what started first, the Bunker Hill Settlement or the caravans. But they're practically one and the same nowadays. Either way, folks need drinks, so I opened up this bar here. Lots of alcohol on tap for you. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Can you tell me anything else about Bunker Hill? What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Honestly? Kind of amazed we've lasted this long. We're always one broken deal away from complete disaster. But something keeps this place in one piece. Maybe the old spirits are looking out for us, huh? Hey, let's get some liquor in you before you start asking about God knows what next. <laughs> oh, but I want to talk. Do you need any work done, maybe? Do you have any work? Well, there is one thing. Before us of all these started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, he didn't mean the world to me. Oh, okay, I can probably do that. Where is Malden? Any idea where he might have fallen? Somewhere northeast of Malden. That's where they found the bodies of the rest of his squad. The raiders tore them apart mutilated the bodies once the Minutemen held their own against the Institute but in the end even Raiders were too much for them I think it's because there's just not enough Minutemen left like what there's Preston and I'm the general and that's all we've got okay it's okay I'll find your grandpa just be careful all right I don't want any more deaths on my conscience he seems like a sweet old man I would love to help him find part of his Family legacy, if we can. I didn't look at his shopping inventory, but I think it's mostly going to be liquor, so I'm going to leave it be. That's how he made it sound anyway. Hey, this isn't stealing. That's not theft. And over here we have someone else. Look, Hello? I'm trying to relax. Oh. Been on the road a long time. All right, I'll just let you relax then. More caravan workers. Ooh, wait a minute. <gasps> wow, fusion course. That would be nice, but I'm not about to steal that from them. I'm sure I could get it later. Wow. Wow, wow. This is cool. I like what they've done with the place. So what is this? Like their social spot or is this the trading hub? It looks like probably everybody's asleep who would be running these counters. So we've picked a bad time to investigate the shops. You know what? Why don't we come back for the shops whenever it's daytime? How close are we to daytime right now? I wonder. Is it very late at night? Yeah, it's four in the morning. Maybe we'll go out somewhere else. Yes. Ooh, whale is real. Old peg, right outside the harbor. Dark and ominous things swim the deep. What? A ghoul whale? That's horrifying. Yeah. Yeah, it is horrifying. Hi, Deb. What have you got to trade today? Oh, she's a trader. Okay. Does she have anything I want? 
In the weapons department, she has something called the Wastelander's Friend, which does 50% more limb damage, but it's just a 10 millimeter. And it's very expensive. That's like, you know, two thirds of all my money. So I'm gonna pass, though the name is pretty cute. In apparel, she has Black Ops Chest Piece, which would give us strength and endurance. That's pretty nice, but look at that price tag. <laughs> Oh dear. We can probably find legendary stuff on our own that's just as good, right? Then she has the Black Ops Right Shin Guard, which increases the wearer's movement speed by 10%. And it is again, very expensive. We're not gonna be getting that anytime soon, I don't think. I wouldn't wanna spend all my caps on that, even if I did have that much. She has a Destroyer's Left Arm, which would reduce damage while blocking or sprinting by 15%. Oh, okay. That's gotta be like incoming damage, right? In aid, she has razor grain. I think I will buy that just in case I at any point need to plant something. She has a burnt Manta Man comic, but it's like burnt. So I don't see that being any good. And then of course, junk. All kinds of junk, junk, junk forever, shipments of junk, and more junk. Good to know about, but nothing I'm gonna do anything with right now. And then there are ammos, none of which I will buy, but I think I might sell her some of ours. It would be more efficient for me to sell her some of the heavier stuff we've picked up while we've been adventuring, but it's just so easy. All I have to do is scale it to the amount that she has and then add what I bought from her and it's done. There we go and bye Deb. See you later. Got a problem? Maybe we will see other merchants in here some other time. I wanna climb this tower and just see what we can see. Maybe there will be something pretty neat looking out in the distance if we look from, wow. The top of it, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, it's gonna be cool. Oh, whoa, 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 ship! <gasps> oh! A ship! Oh wow, is that Diamond City? Let's look and see what we're facing. No, that's kinda like further into that part. Diamond City is gonna be over there. Well shoot, this looks more impressive. <laughs> Oh, wow. Is this the top? Oh, it is. Look, live and love. Perfect. Permanently gain 25% XP from persuading men. Oh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have taken that, but I did. Well, no, 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 no. Let's not leave just, let's not leave just yet. What can we see up here that might be cool? Anything? I see one of those Pulowski's preservation things. I can't see much out to sea, but if I go back down to this one. Oh yeah, look at that. That's scary looking. I don't know what that's about, but we'll totally go there. Oh, cool, something on an island. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> I don't want to fall out. But this is really neat. I want to go to that ship. Wow, it's got robots on it. Don't tell me it's like a robot pirate army or something. That would be silly. <laughs> yeah, heaven forbid we have anything silly in our game franchise that has what? Grandma super mutants and robo scorpions. And little green men who literally did invade from space for real, right? Wow, that was a long way down. Okay, let's put our weapon up just in case anybody here gets mad. Though they probably wouldn't care because I'm on my way out. And we are gonna go to... Actually, I'm not sure where I want to go. Where am I gonna go? <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to Edwards. Friend, so that's special delivery and the friend's name is Jack Cabot. And I guess friend is the wrong word. It's more like that is his, 
commanding guy. There's a word for that. A boss. That's it. That's the word. <laughs> and maybe we can have a good working relationship. Maybe we can be friends. I'm not sure why there's just a gun laying in the alleyway, but I'm going to let it lay there. Just going to let it lay there. Is that a mire lurk? I believe it is. Well, he can just keep lurking in that direction. Ooh, hi, boys. Hello, boys. Why don't we try to get a couple stealth hits in before they've seen us? Oh, that was totally a headshot. Why are you going to act like it wasn't? Ba ba ba! Has a pretty good chance of hitting them since it's on the bridge. Yeah, we took one out and everything. Cool. Back to old faithful. Pride of my life. My baseball bat. Oh, come on now. I'm better at baseball than you, and I will prove it. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a safe car? I'm not convinced. I think it probably was. But I'm not convinced. Let's pop over here really fast. Maybe just eat a little something something. And now I'm gonna go right back to it. Actually, what do you have? Anything? No, you don't have nothing. I already looked. Silly me. I don't wanna, thanks. I mean, I might. But if I do, I'll be back. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> okay. Give me the Sims. Give me the Sim Sims. Where is that? Oh, you're all the way over there. Well, honey, how could you? Is that it? Is there none? Not this way. Oh, okay. I'm gonna. Oh, leg. Leg! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a little bit of a mess. I thought it was fun, though. And, uh... Wait. No, no, no. Not quite sure where that is coming from, but... Oh, man, we don't want to lead it back to Bunker Hill, do we? You hear it, though, don't you? I'll take another stimmy for that. Though, honestly, if that hits us, we're just dead anyway. I don't think there is any hope of surviving that. I saw a quantum back there in the Coca-Cola thing. And I want it, but I don't want it that bad. No, I don't. No, sir, I don't. Where is he at? I can smell you out there, little sneak. Oh, you smell me, little sneaky sneak. I'm not even sneaking. Is he above us? Where is he? Hello? Hello? Oh, he's over there. Oh, sweet. Okay, 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 we got it. No, we don't. Gosh darn it, I thought I hit the, the thingy. The, the thingadoodle, the, the, thing, the thingaroo. I didn't. Did I? Hang on, we'll sneak some more. Yes, we're in danger. Totally in danger. Oh, there's a legendary over there. Maybe we'll get some good gear to compete with what Deb was trying to sell us. I hear you beeping. I don't see him. I don't see the beeping one. I just see this guy. Well, this is gonna give me some kind of complex, y'all. Okay, there he is. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, please, I'm trying so hard to hit it. Come on! Oh, I'm actually gonna die, maybe. <laughs> how much health do we have? Wait, 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 how much is that? One health point. <laughs> oh, no. So, question, if I got in that preservation shelter and it exploded, would that save me? Would that preserve me? Oh no, I became addicted to buff out. Of all the chems to be addicted to, my favorite one, how 
horrible. <laughs> well, I am going to eat more stuff. I'm gonna drink more stuff. And I'm just gonna try to make it. I think we will make it. Like, this is looking kind of promising, right? The music is so triumphant and I am so unsure of what's going on. Okay, hang on. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. Come on, just let me shoot him in the thingy. Let me shoot the thingy. I'm aiming at the thingy. And I just want to shoot him in the thingy. Please, hit the explosive bit. Why ain't you hitting the explosive bit? It's like right there. It's very, very... It's very right there. Okay, hang on. This, maybe. I cannot really see where that landed. I got that guy, though. It didn't make him explode. Are you for real? Hang on now. I'm gonna keep throwing more of these. I've got a ton. Like, it should be okay for me to do this, right? As long as I aim correctly. Yes, little baby is scared. I'm a little baby and I'm terrified of you at the moment. Are you, like, broke? Not financially, but, you know, physically. Are you physically broke right now? He's hunching like maybe his leg is not a thing. Kind of want to go for him. But why not have a snack first? <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, his bud's gone, his leg's not a thing, he's not happening anymore. Dang, he hurts. Okay, no, he is happening some more. I was wrong. Excuse me for my, um... <sighs> the way I am. <laughs> Can we make it out of this? Mm. We have an addict doll, I'm gonna wanna take that, but like, after this? You know, I hate that it's come to this, but I'll, I'll eat the mutt chops. I, I truly will. Oh boy. Hopefully we make it. Hopefully we make it. Hit him, come on, hit him. Come on, oh, the jet's so nice. Look, we're making it, maybe. Oh, please. Yes, yes, ha ha. Gotcha, what do you have? A VATS enhanced leather left arm. What is that about? 10% reduction in action point cost in VATS. You know what? I think I will wear that. I don't want your spine. Though you did have a lot of backbone. You showed everybody your backbone in that fight, didn't you, buddy? And I get a mini nuke out of that guy. I hear Meyer lurks and I'm leaving. I want to make it to Cabot. What's his first name? Jake? Jacob? James? It's not James. Uh. Jack. You know, I was almost there. <laughs> almost. This one has some orders and some stuff. Don't need most of it. Oh, look at that. We got the silver shroud radio back. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll take a quick listen. We're almost there, but I think I do want to take a quick listen. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode in the Parlor of Mysteries. Jasmine, chamomile. Pain, ecstasy, this can only be the den of mysteries. Shh, be still, sweet trout. I removed that scumbag slug, but you're sick with fever and still suffering. Mistress of mysteries, no, I'm all right, but the mayor. <gasps> ha, no, dear heart. The shroud stumbled. The mistress maneuvered. I knew of the mayor's misdeeds for many days. I followed him to that fateful meeting with Fat Faye. I was about to... Attention! Silver Shroud and Mistress of Mystery! This is Chief Corcoran of the Boston Police Department! 
If I step on that, will he kill me? Let's not find out. I'm gonna use this buzzy thing. Hello? Can I come in? Mr. Jake, Jacob, Jack, Jameson? Go away. No, I was told to come here. I'm here for Jack Cabot. I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot? you good come on in oh wait how does he how does he know me so i guess edwards heard about me from him he made it sound like maybe i just took it the wrong way he made it sound like he chose me to work for him and that if his boss approved then it would go through Let's but go maybe oh edward hey what is this place what is this place better to let jack answer that come on i didn't realize that was edward on the intercom i thought maybe that was that was the guy. Wow. Oh, it's so... Oh. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to... So pretty in here. Wait, what's going on? Jack? You'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. This is amazing. What is this place? Let me select my dialogue option. Please, stop doing that. Stop. Quit. Give me the... Why? What is this place? This there. is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Hmm. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? This is so pleasant. Please. Have a seat. Okay, is it weird if I sit on the same couch as you? Uh... Now before we get down to Maybe business, it is weird, I'll sit over here. I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question <laughs> is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Ooh. 
Aliens? Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. <laughs> I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. Ah, yes. The ancient aliens. You think aliens created human civilization? Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. I love this My man. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell her what I need her to do? I'm sorry, Edward. <laughs> I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending her to look for the missing shipment. Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. Thanks, Jack. You're officially hired. Congratulations. <laughs> What was that about? What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? I mean, yeah. What What is the package? I, I mean, that sounds easy and fun, but what is it? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I mean, I kind of want to ask more questions. I have some questions. Shoot. Why guard the asylum? What are you using it for? Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. You all set then? I mean, that's fair. I'm not going to press him. Are you sure you can't tell me what the serum is? What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. Anything else? All right, we got the same answer again. And you said the courier was ambushed? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine, but never got back here. Could be simple bad luck, or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. Are we good here? Or it could be that he ran off with it. I think that's all, Edward. Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons, so you'd better get going. All right, well, we will do that, but we'll do that after we make it to Pigman's Gallery. But we're not going to make it to Pigman's Gallery today. I think we'll make it next time, though. So thank you guys, as always, for choosing to spend your time with me. We will look around here a bit more and head on our way to finally find out what the Pikmin situation is next time. So thank you. I love you as always. Take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye.